I'm a big proponent of safely getting everybody back into the classroom. There are certainly lots and lots of students who have suffered at uh, using remote learning, virtual learning. Support for returning to school from Multnomah County Health. The department will work with Portland's public, uh, Portland schools rather, on guidelines for students to return next month. Now the governor wants all Oregon schools to reopen with some in-person learning by April 19th. Dr. Ann Loeffler believes it's the right call. What we need to make sure happens is that across the socioeconomic spectrum, across the race and ethnicity spectrum, that everybody gets back to learning. There are going to be families who aren't quite ready to say it's safe to be in school. And those families have to be able to have virtual learning and be supported so that their kids are consistently in attendance because, you know, it, it, education, of course, is our future. So obviously right now, Multnomah County in the moderate risk level, but we have a two week waiting period basically. What does that mean? And what are you keeping an eye on in that time frame? Thank you, that's a great question. We're all very excited that our numbers have declined to the point that we're in the moderate risk group, which has been a while since we've been there, shows the great determination on the part of our citizens and our neighbors. And we look forward to enjoying that for a long time. So. What we've heard from OHA is that the last thing they want is to bounce us in and out of risk categories. So we understand that if we creep up a little bit over the threshold, their intention is not to bounce us right down and sort of penalize us, but we'll be working with people to emphasize that while we can enjoy a little bit more at restaurant dining and a little bit more indoor entertainment, that comes with a responsibility to still wear our masks, to still stay home if we're sick, still, to still keep a distance from people that we, we don't live with. And we really think all those things can be done very safely if we just take those extra precautions. So it's what we've been hoping and waiting for to get businesses back open and we just have to do our part at this point.